You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. rollermartinunfiltered.com. You have these folks who say... This isn't fair. It, it, it isn't fair to brand the 74 million who voted for Donald Trump as racist or bigots or supporting um, white supremacy. But here's what we can say. That if you were one of the 74 million who voted for Donald Trump, you ignored his racism. You ignored what happened on the border. You ignored them snatching children out of the arms of mothers and fathers and removing them and not keeping accurate records to return them to their mothers and fathers. When people say it, this is not America, black people said, oh yes it is. <laughs> because we experienced it. Mm -hmm. When they took people of African descent who were enslaved, and separated children from their mothers and fathers and separated husbands from their wives, separated family members. That, 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 that is America. And when you look at them ignoring Donald Trump saying there were good people on both sides, when they ignored him retweeting white supremacists, when they ignored all the things that he did because, oh, no, no, but... But he had Ben Carson. He, he, he had Pastor Daryl Scott supporting him. There were blacks for Trump. Surely you can't say he's racist. <laughs> yeah, I can. Because I can tell you about the proud boy, the co-founder who's married to a black woman. See, these folks want to play games here. And then they want to assert, oh, it was stolen. But let's listen to the language. Donald Trump and his supporters said it was stolen because of Atlanta, Philadelphia, Milwaukee, and Detroit. And you don't eat. What do those four cities have in common? <sighs> Blackness. Mm -hmm. And we're going to call this what, how we see it. And I dare any of them to dispute what I'm saying because they can't. Because see, if it wasn't about blackness, then those black Capitol police officers would not have been called nigger multiple times. Mm -hmm. That is what we're dealing with, Reese. We are dealing with white domestic terrorists in America. And and I would like to point out, first of all, white supremacy is the greatest threat to our national security. And that's yes. to everybody's security. It's always mm -hmm. been a threat to black people. That's our status quo. So we've at least uh, grown, evol evolved, and we've grown accustomed to how to cope with that. We know when to stay the hell at home. We know how to operate in certain spaces and who to cross the street for or who to get ready to throw hands with. We already have all those coping me mechanisms and survival strategies. White folks are the one that's getting caught off guard by all this stuff, okay? So when you look at Kyle Rittenhouse, the two people that he murdered were white people, okay? So you're not even exempt from white supremacy and the and the violence from these white domestic terrorists if you are white. Now, this is not just a capital problem, a U.S. capital problem. This is permeating throughout the entire country where you have Christopher Ray, who needs to be fired, and we'll talk about that later, who is warning police officers across the country to not be stingy with intel and not assume that they know about all of these domestic terror plots. My sister, who's in Georgia, is saying that they're on alert down there for an attack on the on the Georgia Capitol State House on inauguration day. And so what we have is we have an issue where white supremacy has really broken out and it's 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 out of control in a way that harms everybody. Not just black people, not just people of color, but everybody. And so the white folks, you need to get your brethren, you need to get your sister in and check. I'm encouraged by these people that's turning in their mamas, their daddies, their aunties, their exes, <laughs> they whoever's daughters 
you know, all them, turn them all in. Because they're a threat to you just as much as they're a threat to us. All right, folks, back to our my unfiltered video in just one moment. It's time to be smart. When we control our institutions, we win. We win. This is the most important news show on television of any racial background. Y'all put two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20, 30 dollars on this and keep this going. What you've done, Roland, since this crisis came out in full bloom. Anybody watching this, tell your friends, go back and look at the last two weeks, especially of Roland Martin Unfiltered. I mean, hell, go back and look at the last two days. You've had sitting United States senators today, Klobuchar and Harris. Whatever you have that you have, you can bring to Roland Martin Unfiltered to support it, please do, because this information may literally save your life. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.